Uh, we're going to bring in our featured artist of the night. Uh, if Rob's ready, let's go ahead and bring him in. I'd like to introduce Mr. Carlos Morgan out of Toronto, Canada. Um, and uh, <laughs> he has a new song out called Have a Little Faith. We're going to get to know him a little bit. He's featured artist of the night. Carlos, how you doing? Oh, hold on. Rob's got you muted. Sorry. Go ahead. Thanks for having me. It's good to be here. Nice to see all you guys. Meet all yeah. you guys. Yep. Right on. So this is uh, when I have, have the featured artists do the, uh, like I told you before, the sort of the elevator pitch. Tell us who you are, what you're doing, uh, a little bit about Have a Little Faith. We'll watch the, a snippet of the video and then come back, get deeper with Dave. Okay, well, I'm an uh, R&D soul, um, soul singer, songwriter, producer, uh, based in Toronto, Canada, and um, released two albums, one 21 years ago, and the second one uh, about six years ago. Mm. called the compilation my first album is called the uh it's called feeling all right and now i'm working on a third album called where i've been where i'm going to be released in uh april 2019. Um, in the meantime i'm released a single called have a little faith only in canada i haven't done an official i haven't done an american release yet which i'm going to be doing oh, cool. uh, next month so i'm really excited to be here to be sharing the song with you guys and uh great with you guys and your viewers as well but yeah, that's, that's, that's the brief version of who I am. Sweet. So we'll come back, get deeper with Dave. Let us know what you think in the comments, everybody. Hello, Juan, and everybody else that's hanging out with us. I haven't got to say hello, but there's some people hanging out with us. Share the video out. Let us know what you think in the comments. And let's listen to Have a Little Faith, Rob. And the hardest part of living through this moment is the wreckage left behind. Going round in circles, every second hurts so much, there's nowhere left to hide. And all this pain. I throw away what happens now It takes a little faith to get back up It takes a little heart to let you love yourself inside It takes a little time to just let go Have a little faith And the hardest part of Holding on for too long Is the truth I never faced Dave, deeper with Dave. Oh yeah. Sponsored by. All right, man, Carlos, pleasure to have you here, man. This is uh, some beautiful music right here. I, I was, only reference I came to mind uh, was Seal. I don't know if you've heard that before. Yeah, I have. Yes. Yeah in your singing style and everything, but I think you're a little more unique. Uh, you have better pitch too. Seal has some pitch issues sometimes, but that was the closest I can find. You have this really unique voice. Uh, but in terms of singers, um, who are your influences, man? Like who are your heroes that help develop your sound? Um, well, uh, Stevie Wonder, Donnie Hathaway, Luther Vandross. Uh, Teddy Pendergrass, Barry White, yeah. um, Gladys Knight, uh, Charlie Wilson. Nice, man. All right, so I'm, watch, I'm watching this video, right? And I wanted 
I wanted like another 30 minutes. I was a little rushed today and everything because I want to understand the symbolism behind what's going on with the dancers and finding, you know, the sheets of paper on the floor, man. What does it mean? You got to tell us. What's the story of it? So the, uh, the director and the writer for the video, name is Chris Strikes, um, the significance of the paper that he um, created for the video was having the papers on the floor was actually some of it were the lyrics of the song and then pictures of, uh, of people who are going through hard times. And so people, so the dancers were just, you know, having the paper laid all, all around them just to show, you know, what they're going through, what they're feeling. And then the, with the premise of the song to have faith in yourself and overcoming any and all obstacles that we all go through in life. And, you know, so that was what the paper uh, signified. Uh, I think that was awesome, man. It's like, I, I think it was a, it showed a great point, which is you don't need a massive budget to right. like tell a message and move people, he, not just with music, but with the video, man. It, it was just like super cool. I mean, it was pretty simple. You're on stage, you're singing, you know, similar type of uh, theatrics that you see in, uh, in big budget uh, videos and everything. And, and you mm -hmm. kind of had the same feeling from it. But anyway, interesting Something interesting you said before we played the tune was uh, your first album was 20 years ago. The next one was 15 years later, man. That, that's a big gap. Like, what'd you do in between that time? Were you still making music? Like, I was still making music. I was, I was gigging a lot. I was performing a lot. Um, and I was also learning a lot about the business as well. So, um, because I'm an, independent, I'm an independent artist, so I really didn't understand a lot of the music business and how it works. So I took the time to, while I was recording music, to learn about the music business as well, the industry and, and you know, cause I'm, and I've been solely focused and based only in Canada. So um, I had to say, so at that time I was also trying to find ways to break out into the US and the US. Well. I mean, give, give us some nuggets of wisdom. That's a long time, 15 years, like in, in that studying of the business, what, what are a few points that you learned that, maybe you would want to share with people? Well, for example, how um, royalties work when it comes to songwriting and publishing. I didn't really understand the difference between songwriting and publishing and mechanical royalties. That's one thing. I didn't have management, so um, I was learning more about how what a manager works, how I met what a manager does, um, finding a booking agent and what they do, marketing. And my biggest, the biggest challenges, and still today I still have some challenges, is understanding about marketing and promotion, how to market and promote an artist. And that was a lot that I was learning about, you know, and, and, and reaching your market, how to the target market or your audience, what they want, what they look for, that, all those sorts of things. Yeah, it's, it, it can be exhausting when the artist is doing all of it themselves, where right. they're not just the creator, but they're also, you know, the person standing on the soapbox and saying, hey, you got to check this out. Oh, yeah, it's me. You have, yeah, check me out. I'm awesome. And yeah. it's always, <laughs> it's always, always helped to have some representatives and some people like doing a lot of those uh, meetings and discussions on your behalf, especially with, you know, distribution and, true, you true. know, yeah, absolutely. So I still do a lot. I still do the bulk of it on my own, right? So, you know, running my own independent label and trying to build a record label as well and really market that as well. So I'm trying to be a singer, I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, run a label, and also currently going to university pursuing my degree in music as well. So, oh, wow. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. All right. So I wanted to touch on this real quick. Is that, I mean, you go to your website, which is carlosmorganmusic.com. Um, yeah. Man, you've won a lot of awards, man. It was really impressive. A bunch of... Uh, like, I mean, the Juno Awards, actually, you were explaining to me, that's kind of like the Grammys at Canada. You've, you've won right. two of those in the Canadian Urban Music Awards, So Can, Caribbean Culture. I mean, th there's just a whole list. I, I would ask people to go to his website and see all that stuff you've done. I mean, that's that's really impressive, man. That that's uh, It looks like you've really kind of uh, made your name, obviously, in Canada. So it, it seems like you, you want to kind of branch out to the U.S. and other markets. Is that kind of the plan with this new album? Is to... Absolutely. Okay. That, that, is, that is solely the plan now, is to, uh, is to break into the American and European markets. You know, Canada is a small market, and um, we, don't have, we don't have a population, obviously, like America. 
Um, so, um, but you know, there's a lot of great artists, you know, that come from this country, but again, it's just very difficult to break out into the, you know, to get the support. And so, I, you know, I like to, I like to get into the U.S. market now, and I feel that I have much, I feel I'd get more um, uh, uh, support, and people will be more open and receptive to, to the music that I'd be bringing. I hope, anyways. That's my No, I think so, Carlos, man. You, you, you have a really great sound, man. Uh, like your voice is just it's really unique it, it's powerful and uh, i couldn't place it with any other artist and it, it it's it's moving man it's good stuff so we're gonna move on it was a pleasure having you here man thank you thanks for having you guys really appreciate y'all man i don't want to send a shout out to emma and stuff for, for working along with you